there's always something that needs a little fixing on Bar Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms Restorations and Repairs. Tonight, I'll be showing how to use this. This is a gear wrench hand bearing packer. So in uh, a previous video, I showed you how to pack bearings by hand, the old fashioned way with a lot of grease, a lot of mess. One of the fans of the channel, Dallas Reif, reached out to me and said, hey, uh, I'm gonna make that a little easier for you. And I appreciate that because I've been doing it this way at the house for ages. And uh, this certainly simplifies the process. I've used one of these before, but let's go ahead. This is the gear wrench. It is the 1775D. And uh, obviously you're gonna need to have some grease to go with it. Here we go. And it does have some instructions here. Set those aside for right now. Take the rubber band that's holding it all together out. And what you see here is this. Different size cups and cones to fit it all together, but you're gonna place your bearing in here and then you're gonna be squeezing down. And as you squeeze down, all the grease comes up through. Can't go up through this, so it just kind of pushes off to the sides and repacks them. So the first step is to load this thing up. And isn't that cool? It actually has a gear, uh, I'm sorry, a uh, grease fitting up on top here so you can fill it with grease using a grease fitting. The grease will fill this bottom part of the chamber and then it pushes up through those little holes right there. Pretty cool. Well, give me a second, I'll go ahead and load this thing up and we'll do it. Without a doubt, we are about to get extremely dirty. I've got some high temp uh, disc wheel bearing grease, brake disc grease. I'm gonna put it in there. Oops. Make sure I don't have any trash now. It looks like a little piece of something. There we go. And so, oh yeah. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> that's just, that's just the stuff right there. And that's just how this is. Um, even with a wheel bearing packer, which does simplify the process, loading and unloading and greasing wheel bearings is just a really messy job. So I've never done this before. Get ready for a real treat. We've got that in there. We're going to slide this back down and push that grease to the bottom. As you can see, it kind of fills in the hole, right? Get another rag here, finish cleaning it up. I'll wipe the top off a little bit. This will never be clean again. I hope you all understand that. That's just the way these things work. All right, so the next step, we're going to take our little spring-loaded piece right here. We're going to put that down. We're going to push this down. And then we're going to put this on here and we're just going to push and we're going to apply pressure. And I hope y'all can see it. I'll try to zoom in on it. Maybe little by little, as I put pr pressure on this, look what we got. One well greased all the way through inside and out on the bearings. See that? So, all right, let's try one of the smaller ones. Same thing. I'll take my brand new seal, slide it down over that, and we'll apply some pressure. Yep. Same result. Oh, if I can get it out of there. There we go. Beautiful. It's packed. Grease has come all the way through. You can see it. There's enough left over to coat the outside so that when we slide it in there she's not going in dry so that's it still a messy job uh, I would say that it is a little easier than doing it the other way less waste um, because I'm hardly using any of this grease where a lot of the grease on your hands when you're packing it that way just ends up getting thrown out with dirty rags and dirty gloves so definitely better if you're doing a lot of repacking of wheel bearings I guess that'll do it for tonight I'm Eric the owner of Farpoint restorations and repairs and I hope you enjoyed the video if so, maybe you'll think about subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Take care.